Hi everyone, uh, travel addict a guy here and I'm in Alicante. I'm gonna have a drink guys and I was here a couple Maybe like a week ago or four or five days ago here with some people from the hostel We had a great time at this little bar here guys. Just want to show it to you and I talked to the owner He's a great guy. So hopefully we can go in and talk to him. We can have some tapas Maybe a beer or caña. It's called Bar y Tapas Morillo 17. So let's take a look Hola, buenas <laughs> and there's the owner, guys. He remembers me. Hey, how are you? Muy bien. Mucho gusto ver you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Good Hola, to see you. Hola, amigos. Un gusto. Aquí Bar Murillo. So he's saying uh, hello to everyone. This is the Bar Murillo. Estuve en Semana Santa y haciendo en vivo dos horas en vivo. Yo. Dos horas. Uh -huh. Ahora tengo sed. Quiero una cerveza. Una cerveza. <laughs> una caña. I told him I've been doing a live stream for two hours, guys, and I want a beer now. Here we go. Give me a cold beer. And this guy's the owner. And this is Antonio. He's the owner, guys. Wow, he treated us so good the other day. Perfecto. Mucho gracias. ¿Y qué es eso? Eso es torrijas. Ah, torrijas. Okay, oh, very nice. Those are sweet, guys. Es típico ahora en fiestas, en Semana Santa. Okay, so this is typical for the Semana Santa. It's almost similar to a French toast, something like that, guys. Very nice, very sweet. Okay, guys, she's gonna give me a tapa, and this is magro. So it's tomate y ternera. Tomate y ternera. Okay, Muy so bueno. It's, so it's like uh, tomato and some beef. Look at that, guys. Whoa, he's giving me a whole bunch there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Gracias, Antonio. Gracias, amigo. Gracias. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. How about that, guys? Tapas alicantinas. That's a big one. Nice. And this, este bar, tú tenías dos años, ¿no? Dos años tenemos aquí. Okay, so he opened this bar, guys, two years ago, and that was actually during the pandemic, right? Ante la pandemia o durante? Ante la pandemia, dijimos. Oh my gosh, guys, so he opened the bar just a little bit before the pandemic. Oh my gosh. Dos pero, años. ¿Cómo sobrevivir con eso? Trabajando mucho, muy duro, uh -huh. apostando por tirar para adelante, siempre trabajar fuerte y duro. Ah, okay. Con buena calidad, con buen servicio. Muy bien. Y siempre con mucho cariño. Okay, para very nice guy, man. I like this guy. That's why I wanted to support him, guys. I hope if you're in Alicante, you will come here. He said he had to work hard, and that's what got him through it, guys. And that's what it is. So don't get down. And you gotta believe in yourself, like Antonio, and you can make it, guys. Work hard, work hard, and good things will happen to you. Okay, guys. So he has something to say to us. Sí, aquí intentamos que la gente sea igual. Aquí somos todos hermanos. Uh, no intentamos que seamos iguales, no hay extranjeros, eh, somos todos iguales. Okay, es lo que intentamos aquí en esta casa. Ok, so he's saying that he wants everyone to be thought of as the same and he doesn't want you to be thought of as different or everyone is the same here and also like not thought of as a foreigner guys, so that's great. Qué buena. Gracias. Muy buen sentimiento. Ok guys, I have my magro. I've got some bread here. Look at that, that's great because I'm hungry after that live stream. Let's just try it here. And the tapas were really cheap here, guys. Last time I was here, they were like two euros or something like that, or less, even 150. Mmm, mmm. -hmm. Gracias. Bueno. You've got like a tomato broth and you've got some meat, guys. So you can't go wrong with that. And Spanish people, they love to cook with tomato. That's like a staple. Of course, he gave me a lot more than a normal tapa. You could see that. But even so, the price is going to be cheap here, guys. And the beers are good. They're cold. And it's a nice little place, guys. I love it. And we had a great time here with uh, some foreigners. They really enjoyed it, guys. This is the waitress here. She was really kind to us last time. What is your nombre? Isabel. Isabel. Okay. Hola, Isabel. Hola. Estuve viendo la Semana Santa. Es muy bonito aquí. Sí, ¿te gusta? Sí, me gusta, sí. Haciendo video y hablando con gente. Alicante. Engancha. Uh -huh. Alicante engancha. Okay, she said Alicante will will grab you, it will get you. So y that's playa, montaña. Playa, mountains, todo. Sí. And she was here taking photos with us last time guys on my Instagram. I got some photos from here and it was really good. She got herself in the photo too, so pues mucho gracias. Gracias. <laughs> Very nice woman guys. Really nice people here at this bar. El Morillo 17 or D C Siete in Spanish. So he came to sit with me, guys. We're also gonna have some tapas together and we're having a cheer. So, salud. Salud. Por Alicante, por la fiesta. How about that, guys? Can't beat that. 
We have the Shimano Santa, and now I'm here with the owner drinking some beers. Very good. Thank you. Okay, buena. Perfecto. And she made us some patatas bravas, so special. So look at that, guys. We're going to have to get those after. Wow. Give it a try. Reba. <laughs> Good? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to give it a try, guys. There it is. So they're more like chips. They're not the actually Brava style, but let's see. The sauce is good. If the sauce is good, and I kind of like the style, guys. Look at that. Not quite the real Patatas Bravas, but a little bit different style, so it can be good too. Tastes like a nice potato, guys. It's not too crunchy, but it's nice. And you got that sauce on there. A little bit spicy on the sauce too, I like it. So, it's not the perfect brava, but it's good. It's good. Okay, so he was saying there's a special style. So they, they fry it a little bit, then they take it off, and then frita una vez más, se pone el aceite, okay. So it kind of blows the uh, potato up a little bit. That's the idea. So a different style, guys, for sure. I was asking if he had anything interesting in the bar, guys. He's got an old train light there. How about that? Look at that. I like that. That's cool. Yes, this is España. Si. From Spain, guys. Look at that. So, the año 70, por lo menos, 80. Okay. Yes, this is un barco, no? Si. Okay, guys. So, some nice decorations here. So, a real traditional bar. It's got some uh, flavor. I like it. And, like I said, really cheap tapas, guys. They got tapas from like 150. And they also have the pulpo gallego normally, but he said right now he's having trouble getting the pulpo. And I saw some really, I saw some really good reviews online about it. And that's why I came to this place, guys. A lot of people like it. So I've been talking to Antonio's brother, and he works for the, for the train company too, guys, for the Renfre. You've seen him in other videos, and I've been telling him a little bit about my life, and he's really excited, guys. It's really cool. He was like really said. It's amazing he went to Chile, he's interested in Chile. It's interesting that a lot of Spanish people are interested in Chile. And yeah, I was just telling him about the things that I did and the guy's just like really enjoying it. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, you know? People appreciate what you're doing. Vamos a comer torrijas. Ah, okay, we got uh, torrijas now. Torrija. Okay, and then, you, este es el hermano de Antonio. 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 ¿Y tu nombre otra vez? Carlos. This is Carlos. Okay, this is Carlos. Torrija típico Spanish. Esto se hace con el pan duro que sobra la gente. Lo escogen el pan duro, lo cortan a rodajas, lo fríen y entonces le echan con leche y miel por encima. Es típico de España y esto es como los churros por la mañana, pero se puede tomar a cualquier hora de la tarde, a cualquier hora del día. Okay, con el honey guys, con el miel. Okay, let's go, guys. Here we go. Let's give it a try. I've had these in Malaga, but I haven't had them in Alicante, so... Similar to French toast, a little bit different. Of course, you've got the honey factor, but very good. You can't be in some. Muy bueno. Torrija española. Okay, very nice. Semana Santa. And this is typical for Semana Santa, isn't it? Okay, guys, he's showing the style he eats some. Huh? He puts more honey on there. So very decadent. Oh. And... Oh, mm. <laughs> there you go. Monte bueno. Very nice. Very good. Okay, oh, nice. Okay, Muy bueno. I think you did the best review today, guys. I can't top that one. <laughs> Everyone that comes in here so far, they treat like family, they shake the hands, they, they hug you. You don't get that experience, guys, in America. Amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Fantastic. That's what you get in a Spanish bar there. It's amazing. So we had some other people show up and they're, uh, they ride motorcycles, I guess. So. Un brindis. Sí, sí. Salud. Salud. Salud para España y Semana Santa. Oh. And the procession. El pompero. Por el pompero. El botijo. Ole por un pompero. Ole ole y el por un pompero. Ole ole. De Alicante. Raiders de Alicante. 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 Canta. La mejor banda de Raiders. 
Monday the Riders. Ah, okay. Sí, sí, somos un grupito. Ah, grupito. okay. Okay, guys, I had a great time here. I want to thank everyone here. Muchas gracias, Antonio. Gracias a ti, siempre. Okay. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Great place to okay. come in. Muchas gracias. Thank Ciao. you, guys. Great okay. place to come in Alicante. Yo. If you want a traditional Spanish bar, this is the place, guys. So see you in the next video. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. Travel addict, oh, guys. Viva Alicante. Take care, everyone. Gracias. 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 Besos y de todo. Muchas gracias. A ti siempre.